Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 8 of our RimWorld series in the town of Pistelice and Alpha 12. Let's continue. So, the previous episode not much stuff happened, we've just been working on all the improvements, added a couple of lamps in here, added a couple more new rooms, and uh, what I wanted to do is uh, add some more defenses, because the last raid we had with the tribes people actually showed that the amount of tourists we have is not quite enough. Oh, I'm gonna be adding quite a few more. I was gonna try to have them at least like on different... on different ranges. Now something like this should work out. And I also could add a couple more traps. Which you're probably gonna do. If you have a chance, right? Like... Six traps in here. Yeah, I don't know how much damage could it make, uh, could it provide me with, but um, also um, I'm not entirely sure if it actually gonna affect my colonist, which it can. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, I'm not particularly sure, but let's go and try to create it, and then, <laughs> then we're gonna test it. If it's only working on our foes, or if it's working on everyone. Because if it could kill my, if it could kill my colonists, it's gonna be not particularly great. Okay, oh, so power generation probably could be better. So how about, how about one more solar generator in here? Mm hmm everything looking great in here. Still lacking a lot of wood. Yeah. And if it's gonna kill my colonist, where the heck I could place some otherwise? Probably like somewhere close to the turrets. So let me see grab. Uh don't this drop will automatically be designed for arm and when it springs. So, if I were to force you to move here. No, it's not. It's not being activated, so. Uh, I think that it could still be activated by my people, but uh, there should be some, some special conditions for this. I'm not entirely sure what is it, uh, what is it but yeah, I guess I'm gonna have it like this. And let's hope that everything's gonna be great and no one's gonna accidentally trigger it. Because it's gonna be really terrible. Okay, there's some more wood for our next. for our next ground area. Of course, no one prioritizing these beds for some reason, but at least you're adding some more wooden outer doors in here. Just being useful. Uh, metal. Also, yeah, looks like we are lacking metal right now. We probably should add some more mining jobs for that. I can hear. Traps still not been activated, great. And the power is being drained during the night, yeah. Do we have any geysers around? I saw one somewhere outside here, yeah. Like there. I don't think anything in uh, the radius of our colony, no. Okay, I think we need, add, we need to add more wind turbines. Or actually, are we fine right now? Yeah, during the day we are getting some more power, but probably sucking a lot more during the night, so at some point it's not gonna be enough. Or could we add something in here? Yeah, it's probably not gonna get blocked by anything. I should be fine. You are harvesting potatoes, awesome. What about the regium? Only 30% growth, oh really? Mm, growing time, 13 days. Growing time, 6, yeah. You have like twice as much growing time as uh, decent or uh, as a potato. There still is a requirement. Okay. Rosa, you're gonna 
try to tra try to train Puff, but yeah, you're one of the worst handlers in here, so probably not gonna succeed. But we'll see. You are failed, yeah. Oh, you have failed. That is pretty unfortunate. Mm, some more metals could be mined in here. Let's go and do this. And... Yeah, we can't mine out this wall because we don't have any blocks to replace it with. So, um, where is gonna be our industrial areas? I think I could get like a corridor in here and start placing it all there. Just to not to touch these corridors. Mm, yeah, it might be, might be fine. So, should we start mining it right away? Or what do I even want to add? First of all, we need the science areas, that's for sure. Um, but what could we build right now, which can be useful? Past dispensers we do not need, cooking stuff. We already have all of that. A lot of stuff in here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we still we still need to finish all of that. It's really unfortunate that all of the people prioritize in mining. Takumi hit trap. Yeah. That's That's what I've been uh, scared of. And now you're <laughs> you got your right ear cut off by the freaking trap. Uh okay, Sans uh, cancel all of these traps. It's not gonna work out. Because my people is too dumb to use them. At least it's only your ear, not, not like a hand or something. Why not get them treated? Because we have no medical beds. Yeah. Let's say this is a medical. And hopefully someone's gonna get you treated. Panastra got her wooden uh wooden legs, so let's go and release you. And we're gonna use this bed for something else, I guess. <laughs> God damn it. Why are you so stupid? Why can't you avoid a trap? Yeah, I guess it's placed not really that conveniently, so. Uh, I guess. A lot of uh, attackers actually are willing to go right near the turret, so. We might as well place traps in here. But actually, where the heck I could place tour? Uh, where, I, where the heck I could place traps? So my people not gonna move through them. I don't actually. I can't think about this any place like that. Oh well, at least we have our new turrets. By the way, we also need to add. Oh, we don't really need to add sandbags around it, but. It, it at least looks badass, so <laughs> why not? Takumi, why is no one gets new healed? Who is our doctor? Ah, oh, Takumi, you are our doctor. Okay, Faulkner, go help her. Or him. It's a per, yeah. <laughs> it is a male person. Let's go get your ear patched up. Okay, should be fine. Let's switch you off from Doctor and okay. How is our next greenhouse? It is about to be finished. And hopefully then you're gonna start using wood for all these beds. And we could get a decent amount of rooms. And this person also got released. Where are you right now? Uh, here you are. You're about to leave. That should increase our relations. Yeah, by 15. With the Camaro Abbey. Abeneiro. Great. So now, this thing could be non-medical again. Because Faulkner, or Takumi rather, is, is sleeping in the freaking uh, fridge. Why Why would you do this? It's not the best f f place for you to sleep, but at least you're not feeling hot. Oh, that's something. Mm hmm also need someone to go and clean all of this mess. Because all of this uh, rubble on the ground is definitely looking ugly. Hmm. How much trees do we still have in here? Quite a few to be chopped down. I could even add 
couple more, just in case. Okay, how's the turrets? Two out of four have been finished. Let's go add, go add a couple more sandbags in here. Mm, not this way. Mm -hmm, and something like that. And something like that. Okay. Now, why is this thing not being worked on? Because we have not enough steel. Yeah, let's go mine some more. Also could mine out some in here. We have visitors from the Trobo of the Desert. Welcome. It's all because they're not taking us. Stupid tribes, people. Okay, let's also... Oh, we need... Oh, this thing just got finished. Okay, now we need to have the power connection for this. And... Uh, and at the end, we need to de dissolve some places. Back here. One, two, three. And they're all gonna be growing the region. Mm, and yeah. Like, uh, we're gonna have like now 30. 30 tiles of the region, so that should be plenty, I'm pretty sure. Still have tons of meat and tons of potato. Might let's be in mind, and yeah, this well is done. Where else could we start mining? And we're in this mountain outside. Mm, not really. It's unfortunate. But, 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 we could mine out like a couple more in here. And we could start mining like out here. I don't want to mine through my mountain yet because. It's gonna get ugly. We could mine something in here, but it's gonna be a long way around. Oh well, let's not touch it for now. What do we need metals for? Not much things, just one more turret. And this wind turbine, so it could wait a little bit. How's the power? It's definitely dropping. It is definitely dropping. I need to do something about that. Jill gonna go and harvest some more trees. Good job. Takumi. Actually, this growing zone doesn't need to be in here anymore. So we could delete it. Alright, we have two of our growing... Of our greenhouses, so... Should be fine. And you might as well actually... Harvest all of that. Which is now outside. Yeah, harvest set. Your guys now hauling some stuff. That's also useful. And there is another one bed. Great. And the doors also started to be worked on. Nice. So, where should we add ourselves a medical areas? We could just make these three rooms in the middle be medical. And then add another one block like of living areas in here. Just to be, just for it to be centralized and actually no, I'm thinking about uh, moving all of my people inside. So let's go and set this to be the bed for Takumi, and yeah, one of these beds gonna be actually medical for now. And Faulkner, yeah, you would need to have another one bed, but it's gonna take some time. Okay, what about the temperature in here? Forty-four. Yeah, that's not particularly great. Mm, how are we gonna be refrigerating it? We could add a, like a refrigerator in here. And in the room and uh, connect the rooms with the vents. That might be useful. I don't know if I, could, if I could actually refrigerate all of this freaking mountain. Because it would require quite a few. Quite a few vents and quite a few refrigerators, but it will be try. Okay, metals. What is heck are we gonna get you? Mm, 
Why is it all so far away? I could try to mine through this sink. It should definitely have at least some metal in it. Also, yeah, I've been thinking about the storage area and where the heck we should place it. And maybe like stacking it somewhere in this mountain should be a decent idea. Hmm, where is it gonna be? Close. This one also looks pretty decent. Or maybe just in here. Yeah, I think in here is actually fine. It we could also connect it to the rest of the of our system in the future. So, um, is there any chance for me to like? Oh, uh, let me see. Could I place an area around the trade beacon? Because I want to just not just mine out exactly exactly the same space as the trade beacon could uh, provide us with. Hmm, so, yeah, it's not shown on the mountain, unfortunately. I have a planning tool, but it's probably not gonna help much as well. Let me see, let's go to place the straight beacon in here for a second. And I would see if there's actually any chance for me to create a zone around it. And if yes, I would try to do something with it, at least look at the size of it. Also, you're not gonna have any metal for it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can't see much in here. Oh, this one looks relatively close also. Have some steel laying around there. Well, I guess we could mine it out. Oh, it's gonna be kind of far away, but oh well. And it's gonna be fine. Also, if you want to start taming animals, we would need to have hay. And should I have a special uh, special greenhouse for hay? Uh, probably yes. But I don't know where the, where the heck I want to feed it. Could I? Could I fit another one in here? Let me see. Mm, yes, I could. Mm, this one, is it still soil? It is still soil. Oh, just a part of this... of this zone. So let's go and... dissolve some of it. Just not to overlap and... Let's get ourselves another one. Another one greenhouse exclusively for hay. And we're gonna start taming some animals. For the herbivores we're gonna have hay, for the carnivores we're gonna try to like hunt and stuff, so should be great. Yeah. Also, are you mining this metal? You are. Nice. And yeah, we're about to run out of the power. And of course, if you're gonna have no freaking wind, yeah, one and boom, no power. That sucks. Uh, but the solar generator is starting to get to be worked on, as well as the wind turbine. So maybe, maybe in some time we're gonna be fine. <laughs> it's a rich soil, looking really appealing. But even decent soil is still fine. Uh, okay. Why are you not hauling all of this stack? I'm not just using 30. That's really dumb. Also, this trade beacon. I could create a stockpile around it. So, let's go and try to measure it somehow. Expand allowed area. No, I need like planning tool. But well, this thing is 15 by 15. So I need to add like 15 by 15 area. And then cut the... Uh, actually I don't even need to cut the angles. Uh, or the corners rather. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I don't like the f uh, the shape. This is gonna be looking a lot better. And it's gonna be like one, two, three, four. Four in here and one. Ah, uh, actually, it's gonna be easy to get rid of. So let's go and add something like fifteen by fifteen. Then cancel. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one in here. Four, three, one. Four, three, one. Four, three, one. Perfect. Great. I like it. And now let's try to get an entrance in here. In some decent way. I could even get it like here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a long way actually. I don't think it needs to be double white. I want to get it right in the middle. Okay, something like this should be decent. Okay, and actually, it is already time for me to have a break, guys. So I am going to do this, and we're going to continue in the next episode. Actually, maybe I'm going to move it somewhere. But we'll see. At least I know, uh, I now know how to how to build it. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer you as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye bye.